Good afternoon. Welcome to Jamalini's World of Weather. You clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for December 17th to the 29th, December 17th to the 21st. We have a ridge here over the eastern Pacific. And we have a trough over eastern Canada and the northeast. And we have a ridge here that will be across Cuba with above normal heights in the southeast. And we're going to look at the models. You can see they're in good agreement on this pattern. Here is our ridge. You can see it down in the corner of the screen. And we come to the 21st, this is what the pattern is going to look like. And then we look at the rest of the models, they're in good agreement. And we have a flat flow, west-southwest flow across the eastern states. The southern tier will receive heavy rainfall, heavy precipitation, is also forecast for the northern Rockies and the northwest. Lake effect snow is forecast to continue. During this period, most of the nation will experience above normal temperatures. The exception will be over New England and the interior west. Now we're going to look at the period for December 20th to the 24th. <clears throat> Strong ridge is forecast here over the eastern Pacific to Alaska. And we have also a ridge down here with above normal heights across the southeast. And we have a trough over eastern Canada in the northeast. Here would be the battle zone of the area with extreme temperatures. So um, we're going to go through the models. Now you can see this has above normal heights across much of the eastern U.S. This is GFS. And then we come to the 24th. We have a broad cyclonic flow across um, the Great Lakes into the northeast. And we take a look at the rest of the models. They're in fair agreement on this solution. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures from this area here. Forecast anomalies of 10 degrees above, nor above normal. And we have below normal temperatures from the Great Lakes into the northeast with anomalies of 10 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, forecasting... Um, Above normal precipitation for Washington, Oregon, the Great Lakes region, and the interior northeast. Probability of occurrence is 30%. Below normal precipitation is forecast for the southeast with the probability of occurrence of 30%. December 25th to 29th. This is what uh, I think, that, well, somewhat, this is the GFS and the models are still indicating a strong ridge over the eastern Pacific. We also have our ridge down here, but above normal heights. Now the models differ, bring the heights further north. Most of it keeps it to the south, so we're going to look at the GFS and we come to the 29th. See, this is GFS, very strong positive height anomalies here with a trough extending here from Hudson Bay down into the southwest. And we'll take a look at the other models. This is the ensembles. Weaker uh, above normal heights in the east. And then we look at the Canadian. Uh, this is the European deterministics. Look at these height anomalies. You can see them here. Very strong positive height anomalies. And then we look at the <coughs> Canadian. So it's pretty clear cut. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting pretty much above normal temperatures, below normal temperatures for this area here, except for this region here. So across this area, I'm forecasting anomalies to be about four degrees below normal. Here I'm forecasting temperatures to be near normal to slightly above, mostly across the southeast. And for precipitation, okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, for precipitation, forecasting below normal precipitation here and here, probability of occurrence is 30%. Above normal uh, precipitation forecast for the southern plains northeastward into the interior mid Atlantic with the probability of occurrence of 30%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for December 17th to the 29th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.